Oof. Well. Oh, 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 oh. Hey guys. Hi. What's there here? Hey, in this video, we're gonna talk about catapults. We're gonna talk about how catapults were used in the past and what they used to use in them and what they were used for. And we're also gonna talk about how catapult systems are used today. And with that, I have a helper with me today, Mr. Micah. So with that, let's go. So the first thing we're going to talk about is actually what a catapult is. A catapult is a device that launches objects over long distances. But do you know how they were used in the past, Micah? Uh, to attack castles? Very good. Very good. And they kind of work like a slingshot. If you ever use a slingshot, they have a long rubber band that pulls an object and shoots it far away. And that's how catapults were used. So in medieval times, they used catapults to sling different objects. Can you give some examples of objects that were used in catapults, Micah? Uh, Rocks, boulders, boulders. Wood. wood. You know what else? Poop. Poop! Very good. I know it's gross, and it is, but it was actually pretty effective to attack enemies with dead animals, dead bodies, and even poop. It's pretty stinky. Yeah. Yep. The first catapult had a basket at the end of the arm, kind of like this one. The first thing that happens is a projectile is placed in the arm of the catapult. It's secured in place by some bindings. The energy is transferred to the bindings that secures the arm in place. Once the arm is released, it rapidly throws the projectile. The kinetic energy transfers from the bindings to the arm to the projectile. This is kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of an object in motion. So what's really cool is that catapult systems are still being used today and Micah can tell us how. Uh, they were used in aircraft carriers. That's cool. They're used in aircraft carrier systems to launch jets off of the aircraft carrier. Which really neat, they work kind of the same principle. Aircraft carriers have large pistons located under the deck. The aircraft is placed on a track and connects to the piston. Steam pressure builds up at the piston. The bar is released and causes the piston to pull the plane along the track at high speeds launching it off the aircraft carrier. So now that you've learned a little bit about catapults and the history of them, we're now gonna show you how to put this one together. So grab your 3D printer parts and get ready to assemble and Micah's gonna help. The first thing we have to do is get the throwing arm on the frame and we'll have to take these bolts and we'll have to screw them in. On the right side, make sure you turn in the bolt away from you. You don't absolutely have to tighten these all the way. You want to make sure that they're in there and not able to fall out. This is going to keep the throwing arm inside the catapult frame. And once you have the right side inserted, go ahead and move over to the left side and make sure you turn this bolt towards you to tighten it. Next, grab the crossbar and insert it into the top of each side of the frame. Now be gentle when you insert these as you don't want to break it. Then grab the angle bar and the angle bar goes into each side of the frame and you can put this wherever you feel like you need. Be very gentle when you insert this. Then grab the rubber band. He put it on the throwing arm and put it on uh, the crossbar and we just put it on the another side. Then you can adjust the rubber band along the throwing arm. And now that your catapult is fully assembled, you can put a penny in it and pull it back to launch. Be careful not to aim this at anything that will break or any person as it could cause damage. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video today on the history of catapults and how to assemble your own. And thank you, Micah, for helping me today teach everyone. Thank you for watching this video.